Mm. Hello guys, okay this is a very important one, a uh, very important tutorial, so I hope you guys are coming here because you actually need to do this, and yeah, uh, just watch it till the end if you are, uh, or not, just as long as you cover the basics, just get the information you need from this video, whatever, uh, it's very important, and uh, this is information that you need to know in order to continue with the series, so I suggest you all pay attention, very close attention, all right, so, <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's head on to it, all right, so now we want to make a script, so let's go to our GUI editor and grab the script from this, grab the text, control copy, so in order to bind a script, you need to make a script, to be able to bind it to a button. So let's head off to the text editor. And you want to create a new file. Let's call this tutorial eat. You don't have to name it this. You can name it anything you want, just as long as it reflects what the script does. Uh, because then when you have multiple scripts and they're all called script one, script two, script three, you're, you're just going to lose yourself. So you have to like name it in a way that you'll be able to find it later. So you want to create that. And in here, this is where you put in your code. So uh, here we had log yeet, a very, it's a very simple one. Now, I suggest you do not add these uh, dollar dollar curly brackets inside your code, and that you always add them outside your code. In in here, you only put the text. We can save that over here. So now, when you press the button, nothing will happen. Actually, I didn't delete it, so it still has the yeet. All right. So when you press the button, it'll yeet in chat. Uh, as planned, but that is simply because we haven't put the script in yet. So, to add the script, you want to do it so you have dollar, dollar, smaller than, and then go past, and then and then greater than, and then that's it. And in here, you want to put the name of the file. So, if I remember correctly, I had named my tutorial yeet like this. And add .txt. Otherwise, and when it turns orange, it means it's recognised that the file. So everything's good and that fine and dandy for this specific um, feature. So let's go and save that and go into our text editor, find our folder, and instead of saying "yeet," I'm going to say ye "yeeted from yeeted from the script." There we go. So now. I'm going to save that, and when I press the button, it says yeeted from the script, and it has officially um, executed the script, and without anything in chat. Now, you have to be very careful, because uh, I have seen people, um, actually, I have seen people go in, go in here and forget, um, <clears throat> forget about the dollar dollar curly brackets on either side of the... Um, script. So if they do this and press it, it's going to just dump everything out in chat, and you don't want this. This is bad. So please, 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 if you're paying attention, just curly bracket dollar dollar on the end and dollar dollar curly bracket on the start. Very important. And that is the very simple way of uh, doing a script. You can also you can also bind this script to a button, um, so I'm going to remove that from the button text. Um, so you can also bind it to an event, for example, um, on inventory slot change, save, and now uh, when I switch slot in the inventory, it'll say yeeted from the script in chat every time I switch slot. Now, this event is usually used for other things, but uh, yeah, once the script, and that's hopefully a very quick coverage of how to actually run a script, um, how to install the script. So, if you do not know where this folder is found, so back to the Minecraft light config common macros folder. This is where you will go ahead and place all your text files. So. You can just go and drag and drop any text um, things you find online. So I've got my. I'll put a few. I'll put a link to my scripts in the descriptions and a link to Golem 
or monthly scripts as well and the link of other people's scripts and the scripts that I find I'll put them in the description of this video because this is the scripts video so yeah back to the game that you've got your script you can just bind any script so let's so that's how it's done and I hope you guys have found this useful um, basically installing downloading using scripts in micro mode all right goodbye